are watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another How I Would Change or How I Would Continue type video. Today I will be talking how I would adapt Violent Jack into a full-fledged anime series. Let me start by giving a little bit of background on Violent Jack, and keep in mind that I'm coming at this with somewhat limited knowledge, but also some decent knowledge on it. What I mean by that is I've seen all three OVAs, I've read 26 chapters of the manga up to the El Dorado arc, and these chapters are like 200 pages each. And I've also read the first three chapters of Shin Violent Jack. So I know enough about that point, and I've also had some of the points of the ending spoiled by Wikipedia articles and such. But that being said, I have not read the manga in its entirety, because I can't find anything past chapter 26. In fact, it took forever for me to even find chapter 26 itself, because the series itself has never actually been released in English. The original manga hasn't anyway. The OVAs obviously do have the English subtitles. And manga readers are very limited in what they have. But anyway, Violence Jack is a post-apocalyptic series, written by Go Nagi, the creator of the likes of Devilman, Cutie Honey, and Demon Lord Dante. Violence Jack's tone and plot are very similar to that of Fist of the North Star, with a few major differences. Although Jack is the only consistent character throughout the series, he's arguably not the main character, because he usually shows up about halfway through an arc. And little is known about him throughout the run of the manga. He simply shows up in an arc and becomes kind of a catalyst to help the plot move along, rather than the main focus of the plot. Another big difference between the likes of Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star versus Jack himself is that Kenshiro is a very moral person and wants to protect people, whereas Jack isn't necessarily immoral, but he doesn't necessarily have a moral code either. Violent Jack is drawn to violence, and he strives for it. At the same time, he does kind of protect people, but for instance, take the Slums of Kanto arc, in which Jack shows up to start a fight with the Slum King and his little group versus this group of kids. Jack instigates the fight and then leaves and lets the kids fend for themselves. He figures they need to learn to be strong on their own. Which they do, and it does pay off, but it's still a very selfish thing to do. Especially considering that Jack is supposed to be this ultra-powerful beast. Violence Jack is one of the longer manga series I've read. I don't think it's anywhere near as long as the likes of Gantz, which is probably the longest one I've read all the way through. But it is a little on the longer side. So now let's, let's take a break from describing what the series is, because I think you kind of get the picture. And let's talk about how I'd adapt it. First off, I would make Jack the central focus of the arcs. I feel it would be much more interesting if Jack was the main, main character, considering it's his name on the title. And the OVAs did kind of try to do that. I'd also cut out quite a bit of the filler, because it does feel like there is a little bit. It never feels like it drags, but there's some stuff that's not necessary to really mention. To adapt it, I'd honestly make his battle with the Slum King, make it like the final battle of the series, which I'm not sure if it is. I think it's not, because I've had some stuff spoiled that involves a connection to Devil Man, which I won't get into. But what I'd do is I'd have the whole series building up to a battle with the Slum King and have that be the final episode. I'd use elements from the Evil Town arc because it's a prequel and it introduces Jack, as well as I'd obviously use things from the Kanto Slums arc because that's primarily where the Slum King is. And I'd even use some stuff from Shin Violence Jack, particularly the parts where he fights Skull King or where he goes to the island to fight Skull King. I'd replace Skull King with Slum King in these instances, which I think Skull King is kind of a Slum King surrogate in Shin Violence Jack. So I'd use some of those elements into the main story. And I'd also remove any references to Devilman or anything that happened later in the series, simply because I would think this would work better as a standalone series. And I think the climax definitely should be the battle with Slum King, and it really shouldn't progress past that. I'd definitely focus a lot on the Hell's Wind arc, and I'd even use some of the El Dorado arc as well, because those are all very solid arcs. And I would have the kid character who, um, I forget his name, but he's a very prominent character. But he's, a, he's the leader of a gang of kids that Jack gets to fight Slum King and then later, later meets up with him again in the El Dorado arc. And from what I understand, there's more to him later, but I won't spoil that because first off, I haven't read that far. Second off, that'd be a major spoiler. I'd have that kid be Jack's companion, or at least they meet up during maybe the first or second arc of the anime, and then have them team up. Maybe have him travel such as Lin and Bat do with... Kenshiro in Fist of the North Star. Now, one thing that is worth mentioning is the OVAs are considerably more violent and more fucked up than the uh, manga itself. While the manga does still have some nudity and gore and it does have some rape scenes, it's nowhere near as prominent as it is in the OVAs. To be perfectly fair, I have not read the Evil Town manga because that was done as a prequel manga and released with the OVA, if I'm not mistaken. But the mainline manga does not have anywhere near as much of that stuff as the OVAs themselves do. 
Nevertheless, I'd definitely keep the gore intact, maybe tone down the rape scenes just a little bit. I'd keep them about the level they are in Hell's Wind, because I think it was handled the best in the Hell's Wind adaptation in the OVAs. That's probably my favorite of the OVAs, and that's also why I'd focus on the Hell's Wind arc so much, is because it is my favorite arc. I'd also probably somehow make most of the gangs in the different arcs all somehow tied back to Slum King, so that it becomes more and more evident that Jack needs to take out Slum King to stop all these gangs. Because perhaps make these gangs all subservient to Slum King. I don't know if that's the case in the series, but I do not think it is. I think it's they're all separate gangs with separate leaders. I'd say 30 episodes or so would be perfectly sufficient for this series, simply because I don't think it should drag too much, but I think it should also have enough time to get the plot out. Definitely it would call for some artistic liberties and cutting out quite a lot of things and putting things together that normally weren't, but I think it could be done really well. Violence Jack, I feel, is a very underrated and underutilized series, and not giving it a chance to get its full anime series is kind of unfair, I think because there's plenty of source material to derive an entire anime series. Most people just know about it because of the overabundance of violence and rape scenes in the OVAs, but there's a lot more to the series than that. It's not as good as Fist of the North Star, but it is definitely thematically similar, and it is still really entertaining. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and uh, other than that, you have a great rest of the day. Subscribe to Fiji to Red Eye.